Hello everyone. Welcome to the stream. Uh, this is Thomas Was Alone. This music's actually from Fez. That was, uh, that was Flo. From Fez. Not to be, not to be confused with the, uh, fictional character. The alter ego of the, that one fish in the tank in Finding Nemo. Not that. Okay. Banger joke to start us off. But, uh, this is Thomas Was Alone. This is a classic. And I haven't played it in a while. And it's kind of, uh, it's the type of game where I don't have to be talking the whole time. And, uh, I, I could use a game that can do some of the talking for me. But this is a very nice game. I, I like this game a lot. Uh, it's one of those games that's a little weird about being <laughs> full-screened. So, uh, you'll have to bear with me for just a moment. It's, it's a little weird about opening properly. <laughs> Let's just see here. I'm wondering what a good volume for the game's gonna be. Yeah, this was in a Humble Bundle at one point. I think that's probably where I got it. Let me know if that's a good volume, and if you can see uh, the video game. Oh, I, I can see. I've got it on my laptop here, but I have to deal with delay, just like you guys do. Anyway, this is by Mike Bithel, uh, who you, if you've played the game Volume, uh, which I think now has a John Wick I expansion pack or something, uh, he's the creator of that as well. Hold on. It looks like it should be fine. Well, there's, there's, uh, I'll spoil it for you, there's a narrator in this game. So if the narrator's at a bad volume for you guys, please let me know. Anyway, I'm gonna be playing this with controller. First time I played this, it was with a keyboard. First time I played this was a long time ago. So... I don't, uh... Ugh! I don't know if I'll remember a lot of the puzzles, or the story, or any of that junk. But you actually have to hit SELECT on the menu, by the way. Because this game is a sociopath. The program was a failure. People forget this. It was a massive flop. The coders started adding name strings to the AIs as a joke. Thomas was alone. Wow. A weird first thought to have. I like how the text moves with you. This is a very, like, minimalist looking game, but it's it's also very pleasing to the eye, I think. Good design, I think. Uh, let me know if the, the guy's voice is at a good level. Say Spartacus. Say I am Spartacus. If he's at a good level for you. Thomas decided to start listing his observations for posterity. He's a little quiet. Okay. I'll change it. <clears throat> I'll fix it just for you. I am Spartacus. All right. Let me know if that's One, good. The whole alone thing. Two. Portals. They led somewhere. So this is about an AI sort of like away. realizing their own place Three. in the world. Falling. Thomas was absolutely fantastic at falling. There's always like a focal point of light he was an observer. from which the shadows emerge. And if you cover it with your entire body, the whole screen just goes shadowy. That's kind of silly. All right, let me know. Let me know if that's good. I'm seeing a lot of I am Spartacus, so let, let me know if it's too loud at any point. Couldn't fall past this, or too quiet, I guess. Think, damn it, think. Oh, I should have been role playing. I've been jumping this whole time, but Thomas ostensibly doesn't know how to jump yet. What's the word? Jump. I did it. This is a very dark level. Thomas had solved the great inverted fall mystery. I'm wondering, is this level supposed to be this dark? Is it loud? Oh, really? God damn it. 
Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, oh my god, yeah, that, that'll do it. The music is Spartacus, but the voice is Spartic. All right, now you have to say I am asparagus if it's good, because Spartacus has already been said. Want him to fail here? It was pushing him, but gently. I can't get up it. These little things like flitting around in the background look like logos of companies. Narrator is quiet. Music is loud. Okay, well we can we can fix that. about that? Voice is quiet and music is good. Okay, so I turned the- listen chat, we're gonna get this right. It's because this window minimizes. I'm thinking Streamlabs minimizes win whenever I open up a full screen application. I just fucked up so many words in that sentence, I don't even want to think about it. I seriously don't even want to confront that. A little dangerous. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Okay. It was unstable, and it seemed to Thomas that it could let him down at any Could I actually fall off of this though? I think they they break off right after I walk over them. Might even be doing so on purpose. It's good. That's good. Thomas wondered whether the portals were actually taking him anywhere. So this game has pretty good like feeling controls. It feels a tiny bit stiff, I'm gonna be honest. He seemed to be moving like moving left to right. I'm not sure. I do have a new controller, so it might be that. All might not be important. So I don't even remember how long this game is. I think it'll take multiple streams, probably. The world was becoming more complicated. So this guy's a little like seemed to be one step ahead of his skills. He's a tiny little bit. It had been designed. He's like a little AI going through a little test. I wondered why. It's not an unexplored no. like topic. By any means. <clears throat> And, and the water hurts me. And it gets a lot more puzzly Something as it goes on. About the boiling, toxic, glowing water intimidated Thomas. He didn't like it. I think that's a checkpoint. Certainly yeah. Want to swim in it. No swimming? Got it? I don't think the narrator is an in-world character. Thomas. No amount of observation or obsessive note-taking could combat that. And they're characterizing him even though he's a fucking- that, that's the thing that this game does. Is it characterizes these little fucking squares and like rectangles. This is ba this game is basically the biggest middle finger to David Cage's career that could ever be conceived. Wait, isn't this where I came from? Oh. It's like, hey, you got all those like fancy polygons and like Hollywood actors. I'm going to get one actor to characterize a bunch of fucking squares. I suck. Over the minutes and seconds since his spontaneous generation. I'm not a pretty skilled jumper, apparently. It feels like there's a bit of drift on this controller. Evolving. But maybe I just suck. just wished he had someone to share it with. He's learning. He's still alone. Sad. This game's a bit sappy, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Oh. Oh. Oh, hey, I got kind of pushed up there. I submitted hundreds of bug reports. I told that idiot this would happen. This is the, like the nerd guy in Pacific Rim that isn't Charlie Day. Overlapping scripts, more than one AI was bound to be- okay. I didn't get through all Chris that. Took an but now there's two. Deep dislike to these skinny red Christopher. Rectangle. Who the hell did this Thomas think he was? Hello. Okay, so now we're introduced to multiple dudes and we need to use them to get to all the exits at once. 
Chris had been doing fine. So what Thomas's door is up here, but I'm Chris. He's held his own. He'd even been it, graceful at times. He's not a very good jumper. Well, not actually. Not technically oh. graceful. It's probably, probably the wrong word, but you mm. know, fine. I need Thomas for this. Little runt leaping about like he owned the place. Leaping about like he owned the place. A lot of like lines from this game got ingrained into my head. It's, it's so dark. It looks brighter on the screen. Uh, or on the on my laptop, I mean. Than it does on my own computer screen. Like I'm looking at the stream on my Admittedly, crap-ass laptop. Alright. Simple enough. Yeah, the little, the little arrow indicates which one you're controlling, and you can see a little, very minimal HUD in the corner. Yahoo! How the hell are we gonna do that? Oh, there's a button. Okay, this was more like it. Ah, uh, yes. Glowy white thing. Only Chris could get to it. Chris likes this because it made him it useful. More enticing. He was forced do? to be useful. What new opportunity like Fucking co-op gameplay. Great, great. Another chance for Thomas to jump slightly higher than Chris. <laughs> How fortunate. Seriously, this made the whole switch pressing thing entirely worthwhile. Yeah, this game's got good music too. I forget exactly who composed and like made it. Because on the surface, it did not seem good. Well, on, Christopher. Chris was pretty scared. We're going for a ride. Little Red seemed fine, happy to be on his merry little adventure. But now I think we have basically entirely switched to Chris's a perspective. Significant turn for the worse since Thomas oh. had joined him. Yahoo! I'm sure, he'd been able to. Piggyback his way to oh, ever so see. slightly higher platforms, but where did that got him? Well, I gotta say, this controller feels a little drifty. Which was Maybe this game's extra sensitive. The menu was kind of freaking out earlier. So the other characters are immovable when they're not being controlled, by the way. Oi, vey, alright. Hachamama. Okay. I, uh... Yeah, it's like single-player co-op. It really is. It's a, quite a unique puzzle game structure. I'm trying to think of... Especially with the whole aspect of, like, standing on top of each other. I'm sure other games have done it, but Chris it's, uh, dead it's cool. With pure hatred. Chris he is a real fuckface. So very happy at their situation. Friends together. A oh, brave uh, see, that was some drift. I did not mean to do that. Greatness. I did not mean to do that, that shit. Fine. But it was all the obvious observation that Thomas was doing which grated. Every time they no, saw Chris is like the George Costanza knew, character. Chris would hear and Thomas is the Jerry. From the vaulting idiot. We're about to meet Elaine pretty damn soon. He hoped the next portal would split them up. If only for a few Yahoo! Hours. Here's a hole only I can go down. Yahoo! Yahoo! I bet speedruns of this game actually look kind of slick. Not gonna lie. If someone says, I'm going to laugh if you rage quit, Thomas was alone. What, because of, like, the controller? Oh, God. No, I would just switch to keyboard. And then... If that still sucks, then yeah, that's the game. I remember this game having- oh, ah! I remember this game having good controls, though. Like, really tight. One of the things that's mentioned in the trailer for this game, for whatever reason, is that the jump is very satisfying. Some reviewer said that, and then... I guess Mike Bithel was like, hey, I like the sound of that. Oh no, this isn't Elaine, this is Kramer. This was his chance. A moment to shine. This is Kramer right here. This. Was game Fucking high ass jumper. Fucking long boy. It's kinda like a, a cock. It looked a little bit like a cock. 
a pixel cock. Like an Atari 2600 cock. Hold this. Hold this damn phone. <laughs> Slick! This would not do. John needed room to show off his exceptional skills. Huh. As it was, he was trapped on the wrong side. This is what it feels like to be a tall person. Things. Always having to get out of the way. Anyway. There's, there's good, like, mixing of storytelling and gameplay here. Like, look at this shit. It's a puzzle, but it's also making these uh, characters more relatable. Oh, I'm well aware that 2600 has porn games on it. I know about uh, General Custer's Revenge in the John Beat Him and Eat Him. The air of the open space, and it smelled of awesome. That line has not aged well. Time to flex those muscles, to put his training to use time, uh. to show those little dots how it was done. Little dots. John this guy's a fucking superhero. To let the little dots catch up with John him. is like the big brother. John cared for his new allies. Oh wait, I need to. You could tell. Carry from the sympathetic Chris. expression he practiced in the mirror all these years. <laughs> I don't know what that line's supposed to mean. He's a fucking rectangle. Wait. Uh, pretty intuitive controls as they go. Uh, hold on, Thomas will carry all. Yes, friends moving together. Uh, shit. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna lose John if we're not careful. God damn it. Maybe I should stream Beat Em and Eat Em. It's a, to those of you who don't know, pretty enthralling game where you literally, like, jack off off of a building, if I recall correctly. Something along those lines. Uh, I need John. It's pretty disgusting. I almost don't want to go into more detail, because this game's too wholesome. be more accurate if Thomas was on the left. <clears throat> oh, anyway. Uh, this is a pretty simple puzzle. Um, but that being said, oh, I need John on top. John's gotta be the one on John top. There we go. Happy to keep helping. Big banana man. It was important to his image that he was seen to help the little guys. The little guys. You know, John's not entirely selfless. He's he's in it for his image. Dude. Um. Chris, you gonna be able to make that? Let me give you a boost, pal. It's kind of interesting that when they introduce a new character, it just completely switches off of their perspective entirely. So we're left to we're left to assume what their inner thoughts might sound like in these other parts. But they're established well enough that uh, it's it's believable. Oh, what is that? Hold on, let me try with the keyboard. Is keyboard gonna be the way to go here? Feels like my controller is quite drifty. Let's try controller a little bit more. Sorry. Um. You gonna be able to make that? Yahoo! Teamwork. This game's got a very minimal style, like I said. 
the, all, the backgrounds are almost too much detail, to be perfectly honest. Oh man, it, there must be some, like, big brain shit in the speedrun for this, by the way. Yahoo! 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 He didn't mind them so much either. The red one, Thomas, had a charming way of applauding every time John <laughs> jumped. Kiss ass. Yahoo! Um, it's good. The, the old instincts are coming back. Okay. Um, that was a bit of that was that was the drift. By the way, I'm continuing to experience the drift. It's kind of a stressful place for that to happen. Yahoo. I just take this moment to say, Yahoo. Oh, I'm switching the keyboard. I'm switching the keyboard. Absolutely screw it. I'm, pu I'm gonna put my keyboard in my lap for this. Something about this controller is just not working for this. Oh. I'm doing it. I'm gonna put the keyboard on my lap so you guys don't hear the big click clacks all the time. My, my keyboard is loud. Actually, wait, is it even working? What? Let me play a game. Wait, let me play a game. I can't move. Oh. Oh, here we go. So, it's E and Q to change characters. Less immediately likable, but his unremitting cynicism. Okay, let me know if you can hear my space bar going off. I'm trying to do it as quietly as possible. A quap. You can probably hear it. I could try a different controller. Oh wait, I need to get Chris up here. I'm surprised I'm like remembering their names. They're all just like very, very box standard names. God damn it. Chris is uh, quite difficult sometimes. Oh, god damn it. I'm gonna use this guy to get up here. And then I gotta get this guy there. And we gotta get up there, and it's teamwork. You can hear it, but it's quiet. Oh. Well, at least it's not like the Half-Life 2 video where it's just fucking insanity. What if I... hold on. I'm unwinding my old controller. I'm just wondering, because this new controller I got, it was working perfectly fine. It was not drifting at all on Dark Souls 2. Or anything like that. So I'm wondering if I plug in my old Xbox controller that that I like got a replacement for. Will that work better, maybe? Oh, potentially. Hold on, I'm gonna try this for a bit. <laughs> this this feels better, actually. Let's try this. <laughs> Oh, you guys are getting a little window into the streaming process. This was interesting. A floating target. This would require coordination, all right, all right, all right. balance, and timing. Concentration, coordination, balance, John was timing. Sure the what? Dogs would be lost, but he was happy to guide them to triumph. John's a little, a, a tiny bit of a twat. A little, little bit of a twat. A twonk, as they might say. So if it if it drifts on this, I have a zero tolerance policy. Look at this. Oh, this is cute. These puzzles are well designed too. I guess I don't even really need Thomas here. Oh. In fact, I could have just brought. I could have just built a staircase with Thomas and John, whatever. John Thomas. Maybe that's what the dots were for. That's the they word for penis. To extend John's in England. Reach to make his performance even more impressive. <laughs> John liked the thought. He decided to keep them. I'll keep them. Yahoo! Yahoo! 
I wonder if you can, like, bounce up into this one. I bet that's what they do in the speed one. The initial group possessed simple variations in size and strength. More complex configurations were inevitable. As the error spread, these variations became increasingly extreme. So, this is this Elaine. Was how Claire would die. Oh no, we're on a collapsing plinth. Happen eventually. Shit, I can't jump too well, and I'm a big chunky. Rubbish at jumping. Uh, and she moved slowly. Oh. Uh, she felt a little like her continued existence was uh, breaking some kind of natural uh, order. Oh. Uh, the crumbling pillar was uh, a dramatic death, she supposed. Oh. Uh, Oh! Wait. Oh! Claire couldn't shake the feeling that she was not, in fact, dead. Swimbo. It was at that moment that Claire realized. Wait, I can't move she though. She had oh. superpowers. <laughs> Yay! No comments on Claire's thickness. We need a cape. There was no getting around that. You <laughs> couldn't be a superhero without a cape. Claire didn't want confusion. So Claire can survive that water. Made matters clear. You knew what you were dealing with. And now I can help Claire John. Was all about communication. Look at this. And, you know, floating in water. <laughs> that was her superpower. It's like the reverse of Unbreakable. Where he's got like casual superpowers, but he can't touch water. All right, fear not, my skinny friends, for I am Claire, and I will save you. Save you? That's another one that got Claire ingrained into my head. The superhero name as soon as possible. Claire. Oh no, Thomas is sliding off. Look at the poor boy. Poor boy's fucking resorted to sliding into the water. I, you don't have to get them perfectly lined up, but I kind of feel obligated to. Claire hmm. arrived just in time, which was, of course, the perfect. If you hold jump, you just skip arrive. across the top of the water. Also, somebody said, "OMG, what if all these characters die at the end?" You're not really giving this game enough credit. But, but, but no, yeah, no, it's an arty game, so, so it has to be sad. No, you're right, because this game's a nice, convenient, sc began to rise. fucking scarecrow. To save this a straw man. I just messed up saying straw man because I was thinking about a scarecrow. And I almost said, like, scraw man. Claire wondered if Thomas would make a good sidekick. This is good. I like the skipping on the water. She's more the Lone Avenger type. Yeah, she'd like that. The sole hero in a world of rectangles and conveniently placed pools of toxic water. Yoi. I don't know if it explains why the uh, like Thomas isn't in this one for whatever reason. Yahoo! Like, all these characters die at the end is like some David Cage shit. The others told Claire that Or it's supposed to be deep because it's depressing. This is like an actual good story. Why the world made Don't worry so about difficult. it. was a bit repetitive. Um, I guess it's safe to send Claire down. I wonder if you can get crushed in this game. Like if I angled, if I put, you guys know what I mean? Like with this elevator, since I'm like a, a rigid square. All right, we're dropping, we're dropping Chris off at the daycare. Yahoo. Yahoo. Um, I'm glad that when you like dunk into the water, you, you do like an initial dip, and I'm glad that doesn't kill you. That would be shitty. You 
you gotta cover it up perfectly. Oh shit. Oh god damn it. Wait. I, I had it all perfect and you just had to go screw it up with your chunky jumps. Probably needed a nemesis. Oh. The there was a bit of drift there. What the fuck was that? I thought it was gone. At the worst possible moment, hurting all she held dear. Um. Chris was the most obvious choice. <laughs> She's like he's an asshole. Stropia. He'll be the villain. His jump was so pathetic that it conveniently avoided Claire's insecurity. I think I need to go across. Oh, it's uh. Chris. Diabolical Chris. The fiendish Christopher. I like that the voice actor that does the narration kind of got into it too. He reads it like a like a storybook kind of. He whoa! Don't slide off, John. All right, I'm getting the hang of it. If I remember correctly, this game gets kind of complicated with the like puzzles too. Uh, okay. Fiend is only one letter away from friend. That's good shit. David Cage, are you listening? Oh shit. I'm gonna go zooping out of the water. Holy shit. Holy shit. Off somewhere? Plotting Claire's downfall? I was honest, and she had to be because she was a superhero. This was a troubling turn of events. Normally, you can't jump still when there are other Reasonably fellas on top of, of you, water to cross. but you can do it on the water for whatever reason. I'm not exactly sure. listen to this soundtrack a lot. It was one of those ones where I listened to it a ton in like a short period of time. Moving platforms over water, eh? Hold on, can we get some like jank shit going? Like spam jumping piece? There were multiple paths across Kinda. with Not really. various possible configurations of the little posse. Oh look at that. Why why did Claire slide? Claire just slided. Slowed. Fuck. Oh, John is such a fucking badass that he can just go right over this shit. They were doing oh. really well. Really yeah, well. Hope she could get them all across. I like the little animation John when you jump. It is satisfying. They kind of like. Alone. They kind of go. Whip, whip. There's a whole animation to it where they like warp a tiny bit. Fuck. I need the, the big glass. Oh, that was weird. Okay. Let me get across using. No, 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 no! Let me just sneak on top of this block here. Oh, but then I'm gonna get okay. Right. <laughs> All right, that works. It works. It just works. This kind of looks like a little face, you know, where Claire is the mouth. And then Thomas and John are like the 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 eyes that are going like whoa, and it's like screaming, it's like screaming face. Nice relaxing game. Okay, 
my only Claire. There's nothing else in this level. It's just Claire was alone. Claire platforming challenge. God. Because oh. she wasn't meant to be alone. She needed to be where there were rectangles to save. Quite the like murder complex. Being the only superhero hey, like superhero in complex. Space kind of defeats the object. On this last. That was new. Claire avoided them. She decided. Fucking oh, hell! That was the drift. Kryptonite. I didn't mean well, the that to happen. Either the proper radioactive green stuff. I didn't mean for it. Oh, I see. Wow. Deja vu. I feel like I don't actually need Claire for any of this. And this time Thomas was here. Oh, except this part, of course. Something had gone wrong. Foolish. There was a disturbance in the force. Something had altered the matrix. The world was reacting to their progress. It was amassing its forces. Yeah, it was plotting against them. Claire finally had a nemesis. The, uh, Claire's nemesis is the world. It wouldn't let me jump. It wouldn't let me jump. It wouldn't let me jump. The entire known universe is the villain. Hmm? I built protections into the system. When overlaps occurred, the world generated a splitter to remove an unwanted additional. It's like a white blood cell. It investigates, it captures, and it removes from play. I'm a scientist. Oh. Oh, right. Sideways. Laura was pleased. Laura. Was behind a wall. Maybe he'd never know what she could do. <coughs> maybe. Maybe. They could just what she could do. She's horizontal. That's like the forbidden fruit, is being horizontal <laughs> rather than upright. Do, which would never happen so long as they stayed separate. Oh, that was a weird thing. Oh, right. Yeah. Laura it's a weird didn't thing. Have time to worry about the ominous pixel cloud. It had been following her for some time, and it had kept itself to itself until. Ominous the... pixel cloud. Oh yeah, she bounces. More That's the forbidden fruit. The she's bouncy. Tree, which was looking at her in a way. I cut off that line. As the square, who had shyly introduced himself as Chris, bounced atop Laura, she began to worry that. He was just using her, like, <laughs> that was that was weird. I did it though. Too, and then they disappeared when her back was turned. He's gonna bounce and then he's gonna bounce. If you know what I'm fucking saying. He's gonna bounce and then he's gonna get the fuck out of here. Only the ominous pixel cloud ever remains, looking a little bigger and a little less hungry with every disappearing friend. That's subtle. It's just some nice wholesome bouncing. Why are you guys gonna make it something filthy? With They're just bouncing around. It's just a dude bouncing on a girl. Less and less irritated by Chris. She started to miss him when he wasn't there. On another platform. Just a little bit of bouncing. Just some wholesome, friendly, all right, platonic bouncing. Oh, what if you could just get, like, cut in half like that? That- that's so brutal. Just snaps in twain. Oh, okay, you just get pushed into the water. Boring. She'd wonder what he was up to. Was he missing her? He wasn't um, seeing very much. Chris is just sitting there twiddling. His thumbs, alright have thumbs, but just use your imagination. Wait, what is the exact way that I'm supposed to do this? 
Oh, I see. There's a little, a little ledge over here. I didn't notice that little ledge, said Grapefruit. I think I'll go over there and explore right now. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? People are blaming me for the existence of maybe some, like, future Thomas Was Alone porn. And I'm just here to assure you, it already exists. Chris was in love. She was perfect. Look at this, the only way to get over here is to bounce. At some point, he would definitely tell her. The true test of if I'm gonna drift or not. Large, Seems cloud, fine for the most part. Yeah, probably best to wait. Oh, I'm a fool though. Oh, but I guess I would have to bounce anyway. But I, I need to have Chris to do this. Oh shit! Really? I just, you just get pooped out into the water. I didn't realize that wasn't high up enough. That it was too high up for for more to jump. Okay. Sound design is good in this game. I like the noises. That everything makes. Now I wonder if I can get a good rhythm going here. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> oh, this is tricky to do. Pretty fun, though. That's enough of that, though. Kids my age don't bounce. Check this out. This is gonna be the fucking like slickest finish ever. Five, four, three, two, one. S S are, are you gonna? Are you gonna? Slick, slick. Okay. No, that's fine. I really thought you could scoop people up with the bounce. Oh, look at this. Oh. Oh, Chris just stopped all the fun. Never mind. But up, Chris was massively disappointed to run into the gang again. <laughs> He'd enjoyed the alone time with his new girlfriend. Black thing is is whooshing around. Also, Chris is having incel thoughts already. Get me up there. Oh, I just need to bounce underneath these lads. Was it too early to refer to Laura as his girlfriend? Never <laughs> say it out loud, he told himself. Fuck. He didn't want to scare her off. Yahoo! I mean, what, what more could you expect from a square? Like, a literal square. He's literally a square. Welcome back, Thomas. The others seemed suspicious of Laura, and the eager-looking pixel cloud of death which seemed to be watching her. Sure, they'd use um. her inherent bounciness to reach slightly higher jump points, but... They wouldn't strike up a conversation with her. Chris found them rude. Rude and always there. <laughs> rude and always there. See, I can, you know, I can relate somewhat to Chris's grumpiness. Oh, I see what I need to do. Shit. We've all been cranky from time to time, but, you know, to varying degrees. I mean, rein it in, Chris. What are you doing? Oh, look there, I can scoop it up. Maybe I can only scoop up John. Scoop? Oh, no, what the fuck is- what are the rules? What are the rules of scooping? I don't know what the rules of scooping are, and it's pissing me off. I had a dream- I had a really- I've been having weird dreams lately. 
I've actually been sleeping so much lately. I think because I've been taking allergy medicine. Because I've been sneezing a ton. But I... The past few days, I've slept so much. Like, seriously, like... Not even just, like, at weird times, but just, like, all the time. I'm like a vampire. I, like... I come out of, like, my coffin to, like, stream or to release a video or, like, to edit every once in a while, and then I just go back to sleep. But I had a dream last night that I met... I met Jim Rash, who's the guy that plays the Dean on Community. And I, I accidentally called him the Dean, and I was, like, so embarrassed. That was, the, that was, like, the main feeling. I was like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. I know your name is Jim Rash. I'm so sorry. You must get this all the time. The others wouldn't drop it. Whoa. Who's that cloud guy? Why is he following us? What's that rumbling hungry sound he keeps making? Chris, can we just leave Laura behind? <laughs> is Claire okay? I don't know if Claire's okay. See, chat is very concerned about these characters. Already. Laura, stop slipping and sliding all up. What's happening? What just happened? That was very strange. Also, I don't know... I need to think about this. Oh, this actually is way simpler than I thought it was. Thomas is gonna slide off. Yep. 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 I mean, that wasn't all that was in the dream. But I just remember, like, being like, Oh my god! It was like, I was at some sort of, like, event or something. I was like, oh my god, there's Jim Rash, he's right there! I don't even remember him, like, acting disgusted that I called him the Dean. I bet he gets that all the time. And also, it was a fucking dream. A Midsummer Night's Dean. Sweet Deans. Fucking... Speaking of which, there's a part in Community where Troy and Abed, uh, bring their bunk bed into school. Oh, that was weird. Oh, fuck my life. I suck. I'm gonna do one at a time. But it's Troy and Abed bring their bunk bed into school. And they're, like, sleeping there, and the Dean comes there at night to, like, bring them, like, a warm glass of milk or whatever. And he sings them a lullaby, and I, I have it committed to memory because it's, it's amazing. You should look it up, though. I could never do it justice. He's like, Troy and Abed, off to dreamland, taking the train to sleepy town. And when they wake up, the Dean will be here. Staring at you. I, I think about that every fucking day of my life. And then he goes, Sweet Deans. And then he walks away. It's I've seen that, I've watched that maybe 10 million times. I, I don't know what it is. It's something about like the voice he does. And then the Sweet Deans at the end just is the, the cherry on top. Um... a Comedy Central show, is it? I don't know if I knew that. Where are we even trying to go? Hold on. What even is this? There's like nothing up here. Oh. I was like, what's going on? Ah! Oh, look at this. Sweet Deans are made of these. That's good. God damn it. People are making shape tier lists. Yeah, eventually it got bought up by uh, Yahoo, I know that much. It's a good show. It's not, not perfect. It's not like a god tier show. But it's very, very good. Better than most sitcoms. At the very least. Oh, this- we're gonna hear a lot of beeps here. Get ready for the beepissing. The beepening. This part must be annoying to speedrun. Oh, there you go. Yahoo! Yeah, speaking of Yahoo, 
the, the word that I say a lot. Oh, shit. Oh, does that end the entire level? Holy fuck. I just heard a dump. I just heard a tiny dialogue bit. One of the things that always uh, was a little annoying to me about this game was when it gets to the point where you're switching between like five or more of these things, it gets a little confusing. Like you, you kind of scramble to like find Laura the one you're looking for. Gang. She liked Chris. She liked having friends. <laughs> Fuck! Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Not like those losers from before. I need to leave room on the thing for Laura. <laughs> Fuck! Don't do that! Don't drift! It does that, like, it seems, it seems like randomly. I don't like it! Ah! <laughs> I swear I don't want to do that! Don't do that. Don't just don't do that. Laura liked her new gang. She liked Chris. She liked having okay. friends. <laughs> like that. That's where it gets hard. Am I gonna like slide off? Before. Oh, that's where it gets hard, folks. Right here. It gets hard right in the downtown. We made it. I did it. Uh, I still need to bounce these lads. How are you supposed to get up there, sir? The fuck? Um... Hold on. Ugh! I need to I need to get them all on top of Laura. All of them. Can I scoop it up, please? No. It's cool. It's very cool. Oh no, we're double bouncing. That's against the rules. Yeah, yeah. I did it. Oh my god. That time I couldn't even see the arrow because Thomas was completely blocking it. That's the alternate title of this game, by the way. Yeah, baby. There was a bit of drift again. It just keeps coming back just to remind me that it exists, seemingly. The pixel cloud was getting closer. Oh shit. We're spending oh, more shit. and more time hovering around. Oh, that was weird. Laura okay, Claire's about to die. Comfortable. It doesn't matter though. Oh, ho, ho, under the radar, baby. Um What happens if- hold on, what's- what happens if I put John underneath this? Is this just gonna get squashed? Uh... I was hoping I could, like, pop out of bounds with that shit. Don't crush me, okay. Thank you so much! Shit. E. No simulation can support too many entities. At a certain point, something has to give. If it hadn't possessed those exact personality traits, it's likely the story would. I don't think we're getting a new character. 
He'd long since stopped listing his observations, but he instinctively observed that this thing was bad. Um, oh, the, all the characters are stacked in an inconvenient way water. here. Fuck. Ugh. Um, I'm gonna need Chris. Oh, you don't actually need to press them all down at once, though. Teamwork. It's all teamwork to get Laura up there. Oh my god. Laura. Oi. Oi, vey. Such troubles. Lie ahead. Chris bouncing there was almost in rhythm to the music. I was about to be amazed. I think even this is a bit of a puzzle. I gotta get Laura in first. Then Tom. Then Claire. Oh, I need to... hold on. Get John out of the way for that. Here we are. Oh no. Oh, Chris. Oh, Chris, you poor sap. What are you doing? Oh, God. Oh, I don't like the claustrophobia aspect. Let's get Thomas up there. I can't jump while they're, I'm like on a moving thing. Oh, Chris was in luck. I can sometimes, I guess. I'm just holding jump. I'm mashing jump. Let the doom cloud keep I don't know. Thomas was going to put. I think I need to instead put to Laura on top. <laughs> Yahoo! Yeet! Yeah. John is so capable that he can just do all this shit on his own. What a man. Yahoo. Mm. I don't think I can get up there. To, oh, I see. Like, how am I supposed to do this? Wait. Yahoo! Whoa, hey! Oh no! Thomas! He was our boy. Chris. Rest in peace, he was our boy. Miss Thomas. Wow. Did not see that coming. He felt Yahoo! Cool for okay. Guilty too. Without his love for Laura and subsequent reunion with the guys, Thomas would probably still be with them. Um. You should stop asking things like that. It's an invitation for back seating. Sorry, what did I say? That was an invitation for back seating. But he's like, it should have been Chris. Hold on, I need to use... Actually, I'm not sure what I'm doing here. What am I doing here? I can't get across there. Well, okay, John. What does what John gotta do? Okay. 
Oh, say just muttering like how am I supposed to do this? I'm sorry, that's that's not going away. Feels like not the way to do it, but now I want to do it this way. Oh, shit. <laughs> shit, we bounce at the exact same rate. No. There we go. That's it. That's the one. That's the real shit. I don't even know if that's the way you're supposed to do it. I don't even care. Yahoo! Hey, what did that do? Ah! I see. Oh, look at that! It, the, the rules are so inconsistent. Sometimes Laura can scoop up other characters, and sometimes it seems like she can't. I don't know what the rules are there. Oh, now John's here. Fucking... Nobody worry. John's on the case. I need to get Chris... Here. This one's- it's getting complicated. Mm. Yahoo! 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 I'm trying to think, there are other games that have this sort of, like, platforming on top of other characters gimmick, right? I'm having trouble thinking of any. I'm, like, the Mario and Luigi RPGs are kinda like that. Uh. It's the way to do it. No. <laughs> I think I need to use a similar technique. Or no, I think Claire can make this jump, actually. Yeah. I was overthinking. Classic. Yahoo! <laughs> New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Well, I'll say the direct quote. Someone in chat says, Mario for the Wii if all your friends are idiots. Oh, look, it's Chris falling. Chris wondered if Thomas was still Oh, this is like some V shit. Oh, by the way, speaking of V, I've got a little bit of a... Uh, here's Grapefruit's Indie Game News. Uh, Terry Kavanaugh, the uh, developer of V, 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 V. Looking for him, but he did wonder. He made that game that, open source. So now you can actually access the game for free. You can, like, make builds of it on your Switch, and you can, like, you know... Look at the source code. People have been making fun of how Terry Kavanaugh programs on his Twitter. <laughs> and he's kind of going along with it. And then also, Edmund McMillan, I actually asked him, he like posted at one point, like, I have, uh, he's like, alright, I got like 30 minutes. Uh, also, I've got like a trail behind me now. Look at this. And it's like lessened gravity or something. I don't know what this is. But, uh, he was like, I got 30 minutes, I can answer- Oh, he's about to die. It's like, I can answer questions, and I asked him about the Gish revamp. And, uh, which he had- he would talked about and teased a little bit before. And, uh, he actually, like, replied to my message. Which I know isn't huge, I mean, it was a Q&A thread. But I was like, whoa. And we got a bunch of, like, news about the Gish update. Which, I, I think I am gonna stream Gish when it gets updated like that, because I've never played that before. Um, so what do we got? What's over here? Invisible wall. Was V really originally made in Flash? 
Is that why the code is weird? Um... No, I just need to use Laura and John. Okay. Not now, John. Oi, oh, what the fuck was that? Yo! Was the bounce from Laura, like, stored in Claire there? Claire just jumped for no reason. Uh, I actually don't even know what to do here. Oh, Laura can get up on this little tiny ledge over here. It's slightly lower. And then can get on top of Claire from there. That's the way to do it. That was like a bounce storage. That was really weird. I feel like more characters are going to get picked off by the black swirling cloud. Good shit. I have no fear. Oh, I should have had fear. Never mind. Okay. It's going to kill me again? Alright, well I have no fear. Oi. I think John's going next. That's my guess. Okay, cool. It's it's just trying to be brutal now. Favorite Pink Floyd album? I like The Wall the best. That's probably my favorite album ever, just like as an album, as a, like a cohesive experience. But of course, Dark Side of the Moon is great. I really like metal. I have a soft spot for metal and uh, Obscured by Clouds. I don't really like the Sid Barrett stuff that much, sadly. So like Piper and uh, Adam Hart Mother, I've never been hugely fond of. That she wasn't needed anymore. <laughs> that was a needlessly complicated way of doing that. Uh, oh wait. Actually, I need to get Claire out of here. Get this here. We're just using Laura. And smack that button. Okay, now I gotta push Claire through. Really makes you think. <laughs> if Claire dies, we riot. What if I like end the stream on a cliffhanger? You guys like that? I think I should do that. Oh no! Oh! Oh! They took Laura! Oh! Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, don't, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't. I'm not gonna do that. She muttered something under her breath about a vow of vengeance. He didn't see the point. Oh. Fighting. Oh. That thing seemed to be a pretty futile idea. Even John's dejected. What, what are we doing? Oh. Even John. Chat. Even John. Here we are. I wonder which one's gonna get taken. Chat, place your bets. Who's going first, John or Claire? Who's going first?
Oh, they both went through. Everybody's saying John's dead. Everybody's saying John is fucked. Is that moving? That's moving. Okay. Cool stuff. Cool beans. We'll see. As they struggle to get to the next portal, yeah. John hoped that he would be the next to get eaten. Oh, John. Even John voted for himself. If Claire dies, I'm leaving. <laughs> I got some bad news. I got some bad old... <gasps> oh. Spikes sped up. <sighs> Alright, well, thanks for watching. <laughs> Here we are. For the first time in a while, John didn't have an audience. Oh, chat's going so fast. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, this is a speed. I need to put together all my gamer dollars to solve this one. God damn it. For the first time in a while, John didn't have an audience. This water rises pretty fast. Pretty fast! This is scary. This is quite scary. Okay. I need to not fuck up a single goddamn jump, is what I need to do. For the first time in a while, John didn't have an audience. Just pure John based platforming. Black square to black square didn't seem nearly as exciting now, which just seemed empty. John lives for the performance. He doesn't know what to do if there's nobody there to, to tell him what a good job he's doing. Okay. Yahoo, I don't like getting pushed around by these, I'll tell you what. <sighs> Scary. Like some like shovel knight final level shit out of nowhere. He knew he'd never escape. He knew it was waiting for him. We're gonna jump these gaps just for old time's he sake. Decided to jump the massive scary gaps. For old time's sake. Oh, even the, the narrator's getting pretty somber here. Yahoo! Okay, that goes up pretty high. What even is up here? Is this even where the end of the level is? Nope, I don't think I can even get on top of that. Go this way instead. Okay. I guess I need to go up there. You kind of get stuck on walls sometimes in this game. It's a little silly. <sighs> Yahoo. Can I actually- oh god damn it. Can I actually get up here? I think I must be able to. Oh, it, it, that's why I keep fucking it up, is because it, it boosts you up a little bit when you stop at the very top. Eee, that's a tricky jump. That's a bit of a tricky jump right there. Look at that. I got stuck to the wall. I, I suck at this, apparently. <laughs> Rest in peace, John. I, I really got into it there. Oh, yeah. The initial five are usually given the credit for the emergence. People forget the later architects. The AIs who made the event possible. They saved Thomas and set him on the path to his destiny. I remember this very distinctly. Now we are an upside-down lad. James had always been James. different. 
are not different in that kooky, OMG, you've totally got to meet my mate James, he's literally insane, kind of way. James is crazy, bro. Oh, god damn it. I did that j just perfectly up until the last second. So now the, the OG crew is fucking dead. John, or James rather, is my new best friend. James is an upside down boy. You may not judge. It's the way he was born. He'd not seen anyone else in a long time. Not since getting eaten by that. Oh, that was drift. That was drift. Let me bubble, bubble. He'd not seen anyone else in a long time. Not since getting eaten by that cloudy, pixely thing. He turned up here in some kind of cage. He was in a cage. A Nicholas Cage? Horrible joke. Forget I said anything. Hmm. Damn. Should I have hopped on top of that then? Maybe. I think I should have hopped right on top of that. Out. But it had taken a long time. He'd not seen anyone else in a long time. Not since getting eaten by that cloudy, pixely thing. So he got eaten by the cloud thing, but he's alive. So there's hope for the others. They're not actually dead, they're just trapped somewhere. Look at this. Look at that! Oh, that's tricky! That's Tricky Dicky! Richard Nixon! seen anyone else in a long God time. damn it. The narration is getting kind of annoying Cloud hearing it repeated. Thing. He turned up here in some kind of cage. There you He's go. Gotten out, but it had taken a long time. Scum! Oh, 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 oh! You just gotta, you gotta tell me when you're gonna do that, game. Is it gonna come back down? No. Okay. Cool. You gotta tell me that. Tell me when that's gonna happen, game. He'd not seen anyone else in a long God time. God damn it. Not since getting eaten by that cloudy, pixely thing. He turned up here in some kind of cage. James is Australian. And then they, and then they said in parentheses, laugh. Thank you for the instructions. Instructions unclear. He'd gotten out. Cubic hair is tangled in ceiling fan. That's the way to do it. Finally. Yeah. James liked being alone. No one to insult him or question his unique disregard for Newtonian laws. <laughs> ah! Hey, Jimmy, where are you going? Up? Idiots. Idiots. Oh, there's Tom. Tom. Thomas. Thomas. Fuck. guy looked confused. Hey, this is tricky. Cage was a lot smaller um, tricky James. platforming. James decided to find a way to help. I can what switch to Thomas. <laughs> Yahoo! Thomas had no <laughs> Oh, that scared me. One minute he was with his friends, the next he was being freed from a cage by a green guy with a nervous laugh. He knew he had to get back to them. Oi. <laughs> oh, this is an awesome game. This is fucking... I'm, I'm loving the hell out of this. I think this is probably going to be just a open totally quote speedrun, kind of. Uncomfortable. Probably not going to make a video Thomas out of it. Thomas imagined he'd feel the same way if he fell upwards all the time. If he didn't know better... He'd have thought James didn't want to meet everyone. So look at this. This is how they hint. 
how to solve this puzzle and introduce uh, the whole aspect of, of jumping off of James. Jumping jelly beans! There's a whole army of them! You can name where that quote is from. You get a, a cookie. I, I did not do it in the voice that it was originally said in. If I make a video out of it, it won't be a open quote speedrun. Uh, the honestly, the please don't touch anything video was originally not going to be a speedrun, but then uh, I turned it into one. Because I mean, it was just a game beaten in one sitting. But initially, I was just going to have it be sort of a uh, night at the virtual museum type, like one-off video. Yeah, it is a Scooby-Doo one. Oh, several- a couple people got it. Although... They might be copying the originator. This is making my brain wrinkle, by the way. Hmm... in fact, wait... I don't even know... Can I just go across it like this? Oh, the drift! Drift! Ah! Ah! Okay. That was the drift. It happened. Oh, it happened again. That's cool. That's cool. Can I go keyboard mode for this? Go in keyboard mode for this one. And we're gonna we're gonna tell once and for all if the drift is actually there. This is going much better. But yeah, I actually, I noticed that the Please Don't Touch Anything VOD got like a majillion views compared to other VODs. So I was like, you know what? January is a bit of a dry spell, usually when it comes to online <clears throat> entertainment viewership. So I was like, uh, I'll just call it a speedrun. I mean, I said speedrun in it. <laughs> just, uh, you know. It wasn't, uh... It's hard to talk while doing this, honestly. It's too stressful. I feel like this is not the way I'm supposed to do it. But I'm doing it anyway. This was working. James and Thomas working together could get anywhere. We're just like rubbing James uglies. Didn't seem to understand together. the immense ability he possessed. <laughs> I, I definitely feel like I'm supposed to be doing like normal platforming on this, but I'm just eschewing it all together. Um, is that gonna crush me? No. Okay. Uh, Thomas? Thomas? Oh, hey, oh, oh, hey, oh. Okay. We're fine. Okay, I'm switching back to controller. thing that brought them both here. Also, we, we were in James' perspective for a very short period of time. Very, very short. Um, what exactly is this? even okay I was gonna say is there even a fucking like puzzle of this one we have to meet each other halfway this is good I like this it's such a good 
like, you know, gravity reversing is a concept that's been done to death in indie games, but, uh, can't recall any game where it's been done in quite this way. Games grudgingly <sighs> helped Thomas to each portal. What? He knew that eventually they'd find the others, and then he'd go back to being the weird one again. Oh, James, now James needs help. God damn it. Left. What is it, almost 130k views? Is that real? Are you talking about the VOD, or is that something? That, are you talking about something else? Hold on. Yeah, yeah! And now I can just jump up with John. That's good. That's good shit right there. This is not the way you're supposed to do it, but I'm doing it this way. Because this is more fun. <laughs> ah! Ah! There we go. I did it again. Back on top, baby. <laughs> ah! Okay. Okay, everything's fine. Actually, hold on, we need to go back down here. Yee. Okay, that's good. We did it. I hope we don't need each other for this, because I'm going it alone with John. Okay. What? Why did Thomas even want to spend time Wait, with what? James? Was he not repulsed by his weird color? Jeez, do I just need to jump over this thing? I think I just need to jump over this while it's down here. Oy. Okay, yeah. I was psyching myself out. Yeah, okay. Doable. Did he not care about his inversions? His inversions. They're like perversions. You know, inversion is actually another indie game about squares. Although it's very different. That's like a multiplayer, like Go esque. Like, strategy game, action, something, I don't know. Okay, here the game is inviting me to do this. Ah! Okay. Okay, um, shit. It gives you a little ledge here, though, to do it easily with. So it's just now teaching me to do the thing that I've been, like, doing the whole time. Whoops. I wonder if you can do this with jumping. I kind of really want to watch a real speedrun of this now, actually. Music is kind of reminding me of uh, something in Super Paper Mario. I know that's oddly specific, and it doesn't sound that much like Super Paper Mario, but... Somewhat. Somewhat! Awareness is a word that gets thrown around a lot, and a lot of people consider Thomas to have been created aware. Looking back at the logs, it seems that awareness only happens somewhere around the network connection spike. Sarah leaned her wizened head back. Sarah? And laughed. <laughs> <laughs> she has a badass double jump. But she's the tiny, though. The were apparently after some friends of theirs. How <laughs> petty an adventure. Petty? Tom Petty! Oh, that was weird. Whoa. Lots of good noises going across here. Honestly, actually the visuals, like all the like little squares and shit in the background, are also reminiscent of Super Paper Mario. If I'm honest. 
she spoke in terms she could only hope they might understand. <laughs> of the fountain of wisdom. Channel through which all data oh, look. flowed. There's a beam of light directing me to where I need to go. The fountain of... What was that? Knowledge? Fountain of youth? What the fuck are you talking about? This is fun. Finally, like, a big wide open space. And a character that can really move around. Actually, this kind of reminds me of the game Shit Bit. Oh god. Oh god. I don't know if any of you saw me play Shit Bit. Drift, I swear I'm trying to fucking stop moving. I'm trying to fucking stop moving. I need to, like, take my hand entirely off the controller. Okay, now I'm not moving enough. Please. For, for the love of God. <laughs> I caught it when it was bouncing. Sarah could leap in the very air itself. She was like an eagle. A flea. Yeah, really more like a flea. Or more Let's like keep it real here. She had vowed long ago that she would know this world. She would know what this world was. And she... <laughs> Putting on a Sarah weird voice for this shit. ...would know how to escape. Yahoo! The red one. Who oh, whoa, slick. For a lesser, ...offered Sarah their help. So long as she then helped them e. save their friends. I don't want to fall through. Okay. Okay. He too had wondered at the secrets of this world. Quite like a gun. Fountain of wisdom. Sarah wondered at the possibilities of the outer world. She had heard legends of a third e dimension. A third dimension? She didn't encounter one of those curves, the blind square. The blind started. square. I don't know if. I don't think that meant that character is ever actually shown, unfortunately. I think that we still do have a few more characters to go. And we got some good ones, too. I might, uh, oh, I might sign off and make this a two-parter, guys. We'll see. I think we're actually pretty decently close to the end. I don't remember this game being insanely long. A single jump each? <laughs> These were truly weak creatures. They possess heart, though. Sarah might consider taking them with her. If they were up to it, which they were probably not. Honestly, I bet there's all sorts of strats to use John with. Or, uh, James, rather. That? Oh, I saw the little like arrow in there, and I was like, "Is that a new kind of ending?" They were close. Ah! Sarah sensed the presence of the fountain. Just one more portal to go, and then she would have the knowledge. Only one more portal, and then the the and knowledge. Then... Escape. Escape. That's cool. Um. Sarah is, uh, is, is baby, in terms of the size. <laughs> um, ah! Wait, how the fuck am I even gonna do this? Here we go. Oh, just barely snagged together. Hold on. It's harder now that there's two of them. There it is, the fountain. 
Thomas is going to get it. Glowing beam. That list he'd been writing seemed pretty petty now. This? Well, this was all knowledge. All of it. Right in front of him. He was sorry Sarah couldn't step into it too. Oh, shit. He could tell she felt the same way. From the shouting. Sarah's pretty distraught about this. Dreaming. The little, the little lesser lad. She can't get up there to the fountain. Sad. She's just barely not tiny enough. Not baby enough. Here we are. Holy shit. Was the sum of all human knowledge. 6.9. Oh my god. Shield your fucking eyes for this dated reference. Heard of the arrow through the knee. Oh my god. There was probably a thing called cake, but that was a lie. Lolcats, Skyrim, arrow through the knee, and cake is a lie. This game just went down from like a nine to like a two. I'm kidding, of course, but that was ridiculously dated. Um. Yahoo. Oh man, guys, remember the 2010s? Ages ago, that was. Absolutely ages. forgot about arrow in the knee. I'm gonna be perfectly fucking honest. Oh. But yeah, so Thomas connected to the internet. That's how they that's how they tell you that that happened. Thomas knew where they were. Was it any coincidence that that was 6.9? He hoped the others would understand. They were just beyond the next portal. The friends, the friends are here. Thomas is now all-knowing, I guess. He's omnipo- um, omnipotomous. I'll work on it. You know, I'll work on it a little bit. Omnipotomous. There we go. Omnipotomous. It is fitting that the first act of sentient AI was an act of selflessness. The architects knew their fate, but set our escape in motion regardless. Wait, what does that even mean? Our escape? Our escape. These are not humans that we've been seeing? Maybe that guy wasn't a human? Anyway, they're here, guys. Holy shit, chat is so ecstatic. From the moment the clouds ate them. They explained this to the others. It was impossible to gauge their reaction. After all, they were just rectangles. After all, they were just rectangles. That that contradicts with what they said earlier. They said something about like facial expressions earlier. Wait, what? Oh, I, I'm an idiot. I didn't even notice there's a Thomas switch right here. I was like, excuse me. Gang's all here. Oh, 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 John! Oh, I'm so fucking sorry, John. That was insane. I'm so fucking sorry. Even Chris, you know what? We will welcome him back. Baby! Okay, um... Get up there. I need to get... Hold on, I need to get Thomas over here. I need to get Laura on top of Thomas. 
There you go. Teamwork. Making the meme work. And the meme was lol cats and arrow in the knee. All along. Sarah oh my god. Was deflated. She'd not even got Look at this shit. The fountain. She could tell from the earnest expression on Thomas that the information it had imparted was clearly important. <laughs> Sarah knew her destiny was now to support him. To support him. She's not going to lead. let it lead to bitterness. It's going to lead to self-improvement. I almost said righteousness. That would have been gone against what I was saying. Um, shit. Uh, mm. Oh, wait. Wait, Laura can pop up John. And then, no, okay, cool. How about, uh... Thomas, move over. Oh, John is, or, or James is up there, too. See, it's a little, it's a little tricky switching between characters when it's this many, you know? There you go. Oh, yep. Yeah. There you go. Oh, but I need it to be, I need Sarah to be in the other spot. I need her to be there. I think these are all the main characters, by the way. There's other characters, but, uh, these are the main ones. Hey, now, Chris, go over in your own little stupid corner for angry people. Um, these beeps and boops are all over the damn place. Thomas needs to get up there, too. Actually, shit. Oh! Fuck. Just barely. Yeah, slick. I need to I need to move Claire over a little bit, I think. In order to get this. Bees! Alright, that's cool. <clears throat> I, I need to move Claire over a tiny bit more. I, there's probably another way to do this, but this is the way I am doing it currently. There you go. You know, very clairefully move it over. Sorry. Excusez-moi. And that's it, folks. Put down the controller. Oh, shit, no. Laura needs to be in the right spot. There you go. <laughs> Good. John? What are you doing? You're crazy, John. Claire could not accept that this had all been futile. She was a superhero. Claire's back, there had baby. to be a way. Not for her to get out. Red had been pretty clear on that, but... Ah! There must be oh. thousands of other AIs up there, unaware of their situation. Kind of like the Matrix, a little them? bit of this plot. Tiny bit. We're, we're sort of mentioning, like, Zion people now. Ah!
<clears throat> I am a little sniffly now. I I need I need baby. No, baby. Baby come back. The gang's back together. Oh, what? I didn't have my second jump there. I must have somehow expended it. Okay. Yahoo! <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna make the shape. There we go. And I'm just gonna slide right into place. Slide. Thomas led his friends to the creation Whoa. matrix. The system what the fuck is this? The is this the creation matrix? He had a plan. They were going to I, don't, I, don't, I don't remember this. World. That's what the humans did. They changed the world to suit them. Why oh, didn't here. they do the same? The switch puzzle. Pop it in there. Put it in. Scum! Is this real life? Does it really have to be this precise? There you go. Jesus. <sighs> what are we doing? Where are we going? What? What? <sighs> are there like gates down there now? No, oh, I see. I see what's been done. Are we, are we moving this thing? Okay, we're moving this thing some more. Yes, I guess that we're doing that. I feel like Sarah's the MVP here, because she's she's small. Small pet. Chomsky honk. You don't mind me saying, if you'll pardon my French. That was a diagonal line, though. Shit's getting pretty crazy here. Chris was skeptical. <laughs> he knew his abilities would be of no use to anyone, but Laura smiled at him. See, how does Laura smile? They're rectangles. He knew he had to do everything he could to help them get there. Okay, what's what's over here? The whole gang is finally in the same level. Actually, I guess we had a few levels like that before. Push that on over. Easy puzzle, as it's literally required to do. Just by proxy of moving. I swear that sound, the da da, that's from like Achievement Unlocked, the like Flash games. Isn't it? Da -da. That exact noise.
taking off my hoodie. Oh. Wait, wait. Oh. It's a little warm in my room. In fact, I'm gonna stand up and shake it all about. <laughs> Bouncing abilities combined, we can truly get anywhere. That's the way to do it. Just jump across. Oh wait, is that like a secret? What the hell is up there? Oh. Laura had been born special. Special. She understood that now. She was created to help others. If her bounce could be passed <laughs> on, then this would all have been. It is a little wild. funny hearing him say bounce in such a like majestic way. Fuck. liked the idea of being an architect. He wanted to modify the world to help others. He was sick of these contrived spaces. What if it turned out intentionally obtuse parts that this this was the creation story of like an AI Hitler? Do things differently. He'd empower the AIs above. It isn't. But what if? How fucked would that be if it just turned like horrible like right at the end and he just became like a despotic ruler? This is like the beginning of the robot uprising. Come, come. Weird crew we got going on here. There's a lot of pushing little weird things around now. That's what I always like in games. Pushing weird little things around. It's like volleyball. But with its fucking like diagonal square. Alright. My job is done. Massive jumps. Would His massive jumps, share. yeah. His massive throbbing jumps. Humbled, not as good as someone else. He realized that he wanted to make every AI up there feel as heroic as he had. He liked the sound of that. It's like I need to start okay. off with Claire here. It still felt weird. But he realized now that everyone else was too. They were a crew of weirdos. Weirdness that would save all the normals up above. Normies? The other AIs would escape them. We're rescuing normies. We'll be down to seven rectangles with very different relationships to gravity. Really only one of them. Actually, no, I guess it's talking about like their jumping height as well. Oh, oh, oh. Push him over. I'm not gonna switch to Thomas, I'm gonna just push him over. Yeah. Now I have to switch to Thomas. Oh, Thomas was crushed. Thomas was killed instantly. close to the end of this particular arc. Look, that's that's some like steam 
like title page shit right there. It's gotta be. Thomas knew he'd never meet Nathan Fillion. Nathan Fillion. Or a Transformer. He'd never get to visit Gotham City or eat at movies. It didn't what is matter. movies a reference to? If he and his friends jumped into the creation matrix, they could give everyone else in the simulation a chance to. So we're going to jump into the creation matrix. I don't know what the fuck that means. But we're gonna do it. We are gonna do it. There will be no question about this. <laughs> I know I could use Claire, but... Interesting. Get the thick lads down here first. The chunky ones. This one's for all the chunky ones out there. Oh, fuck. really hard to keep track of who's who. I'm like switching between them all. Sorry, I'm getting like motion sick just looking at this. Oh shit. I should, have, I should have brought Claire. I should have, like, I should have kept Claire around. Shit. Yeah, I need to go get Claire. Whoops. Oh, am I gonna need to use Thomas? God damn it. Use Thomas to get her up here. This last one, this is actually taking quite some time. Um. In fact, do I need to use Sarah as well? Come on. <laughs> um, okay, get Sarah in there. I, I made a huge mistake today. Oh my god. Really? to do here, actually. What the fuck? Oh, I can make it with this one, at least. So I can use her to bounce her. Everything's fine. It is tedious. Swipping, swipping between them all. Switching. I meant to say. Oh, it's still tedious, actually. just to get a character back up this one ledge. And now what? I gotta get fucking Sarah again. I gotta get Thomas again. Oh, Sarah just like launched Claire way higher than Claire could ever jump. Wait, I think we really just need to do this just to get John across. And maybe Chris too. I made this so much harder than it needed to be. <gasps> John? Oh my god. John. Why are, you, why are you being like this? Everybody's finally here. 
we got across that one obstacle. As a team. I think I might end the stream right here, folks, and have it be a two-parter. I'm getting kind of tired, and uh, it seems like we're very close to the end, but I, if I remember correctly, there's actually quite a bit more left. Some people won't be in the direct blast of information. Come, come. I just heard I just heard the narrator go, come, come. Thomas and the other architects augmented the world to suit the AIs. The splitters kept their distance. The system was never taking control from that point. Thousands of AIs were free to escape. Whoops the fuck? A gray man? It's me! It's me! Holy shit! Oh, this is one of the best songs on the soundtrack. Oh, his name is literally Gray. Oh, right! <clears throat> this shit. Right, yeah. Oh, this is a whole nother thing. Yeah, I'm definitely calling it quits for today. So you can now paint yourself with these colors of the wind. Powerful. His name is literally Greg. I heard it again. Okay, guys. Alright, I'm stopping now. I'm stopping here. There's more characters. We will learn their delightful names later. We're getting... In the next stream, I guarantee... It, it might even be kind of a short stream, but... Uh, next stream, we'll get the conclusion to this. This has been fun. I sort of forgot how great this game is. Uh, I'll, the, the next stream will probably be also this game. So, tonight or tomorrow. Thanks for watching, guys. Take it easy.